So unfortunately, insurance companies hate anything that has regenerative medicine affiliated with it. So it is right now not covered by insurance. Insurance companies, including Medicare, believe it to be or feel it to be experimental or investigational. So they do not cover the procedure. In fact, to date, I have never had an insurance company cover this procedure. They do cover the initial evaluation, the ultrasound, any problems you might have afterward or new complaints that might come up due to a whole nother injury or issue but the procedure itself is not covered by insurance. Even though insurance does not cover the procedure, we try to keep our price at a reasonable rate. We are about half the price of most other clinics in the country. A lot of people think that, oh, you must not do things as well or be as high quality. It's not that, it's vast quantities. We do in a week what many places do in a year. And because of that vast quantity, we're able to give it to the patient at a lower cost. So that helps. Also, we do offer a payment plan. It is done through a local bank and that gives you an interest-free payments for a year. Cost is definitely a factor because of it not being covered by insurance. However, I'm fortunate that my company provides us with an HSA fund and I was able to use HSA funds to pay for the procedure. So I would recommend that if cost is a concern that folks investigate that route because at a minimum it's a way to pay for the procedure tax free. When you are confronted with needing stem cell or finding that stem cell can help you, I think something everyone should think about is the fact that while insurance will not cover it or unfortunately the largest portion of it for me it was still a no-brainer because I was doing steroid injections at that point and the first one didn't get it done and the second one didn't get it done and you're paying co-pays and deductibles every time you go in it's not uncommon for people to need three of those things a year so you still got co-pays and deductibles you've got trips in I mean just the sheer number of them versus one time on my rotator cuff and I haven't been back and I don't expect that I'll have to go back unless I were to hurt myself again. One time versus three every year, I mean that's a pretty big savings. I don't think it would take very long for you to make up the money that you're going to spend. When they told us the price, I'm listening and I thought that's kind of expensive but then when you really think about it, I had two knees done and if you figure it up I was paying $700 for a Synvest shot for my knees and I had this procedure done for a little bit more than I was paying for a Synvest shot. Shots. Well, I knew it was going to be out of pocket, and I had no idea what the cost was, but decided I needed to have the consultation and find out. I had an idea in a range of what I would be willing to pay for this, and it's not cheap, but it is very well worth the expense, especially if you can avoid surgery and get out of pain and have things healed. It's definitely worth it. For myself, because of the conditions that I've had, and I have never had good response to traditional treatment, I'm used to paying out of pocket for treatments. So to me, this was well worth the effort to pay for it. And then with the excellent results I've gotten, it's phenomenal. Money can't buy quality of life and happiness like good health and lack of pain can buy. I was concerned when I found out that the procedure was not going to be covered by insurance, but at the same time I knew I had to do something to fix my injury because I was not a candidate for any kind of surgical intervention in any other way. So I went for it. She told me from the beginning that I would probably have excellent results. It took a couple treatments, but it's been absolutely worth the money I've spent to be back to my normal daily activities and do the hobbies that I I enjoy. My husband has a chronic illness and we had been facing some not covered treatments for him and they were in the tens of thousands of dollars. And so when they told me how much this was going to cost, yes it was expensive but it wasn't anywhere near ten thousand dollars and to avoid surgery, to avoid the time off work, to heal completely rather than just being sewn back together and face it failing somewhere down the road, it was 100% worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. In the long run I would have had to have spent a lot more had I waited. It probably would have eventually came to the point where I would have have to have had surgery which would have been much more expensive. So it was the right choice to make. 
it avoided surgery. That was a thing. I didn't have to have surgery and I really didn't want surgery. Not that I'm afraid of surgery, but I know that surgery isn't a permanent solution. To have the muscle heal was a permanent solution in my opinion. And then to be able to strengthen it with physical therapy so that I can maybe avoid having it happen to me in the future was worth it. I mean, compared to some of the medications we take and that compared to some of the other stuff I invest in, it was worth it to invest that much in myself and my future. Cost is definitely a factor, but I would say well worth it. I happily pay it because to reduce your chronic pain to the point where you function fully and normally as a person in today's society, there's really no price you can put on it. Even though it's not covered by insurance, if we get results, I don't care what the cost is. Why won't insurance cover it? Because you get well, and that's not going to make them any money. The procedures not being covered by insurance wasn't even a consideration for me. It was well worth the money to try it. I did extensive research and the results were all very positive about the benefits of stem cell injections. And the procedure itself is well worth the money. When you weigh the benefit of what the stem cells do, it is worth the price of it. Can it be a financial burden? Yes, but as we know, if you haven't got your health, you haven't got very much. If you want to have a happy life, you need to be able to have the function of your body. Otherwise, what good is money going to do you? For this to get covered by insurance, we would have to see a major shift in how medicine is paid for in the United States, unfortunately. All insurance carriers, when it comes to covering or not covering anything, follow Medicare. So Medicare or the government first has to decide we're going to cover this. Then once Medicare decides they're going to cover it, other people will follow suit. The evidence of the efficacy and safety of platelet-rich plasma is undeniable for tendon injuries and soft tissue injuries. But you're talking the government and it takes a long time to get that big ship to turn. So I assume someday they probably will, but it will be a long time. We are very hopeful that insurance will begin to recognize this as an effective alternative to surgical treatment methods for orthopedic injuries. The FDA does not approve a procedure. It approves a device or a drug. This is an FDA approved device for the use in orthopedic setting. When we first started doing this in 2008, there was no one really doing it. So everybody thought we were just, you know, way fringy. But our patients got better. And these other physicians had just said, hey, you're going to have to have chronic pain. So the fact we could help people who had chronic pain, who had no other option, was, was life-changing for them. And it made me believe in what we do more. Here's what I tend to tell patients about the insurance model of the U.S. So Medicare essentially makes the codes. They have to take money away from another code because it's a zero-sum game. There's only so much money in the pot. So, for example, if I'm going to treat your knee arthritis, they're probably going to have to take money away from the joint replacement code to give it to this code. And there's a lot of lobbyists up at Medicare saying, don't take my money away from my joint replacement code and give it to a code that has nobody getting benefit from it. Because guess what? You can't patent your cells, I can't patent my cells, and I'm not up at the FDA lobbying for my cells to be used for a special code. So the way the FDA works right now is if I borrow your cells and I put them through a process, they consider those cells a drug, which means that I have to go through an investigation on new drug application and spend a lot of money. And unfortunately, a lot of the drug companies have the money to do those, and unfortunately, we don't. And you don't either, because you're a private paying citizen who wants to get their knee fixed, and you're not going to spend a couple million dollars to do an investigation on new drug application for your own cells. So in the end, the big thing is, Somebody has to go and provide Medicare with a reason to want to make a code to cover all these different tissues. It would then filter down into the private insurance companies like Anthem or United or Cigna or those, those companies. And there's not enough lobbying or special interest really to get that done yet. That will probably take a few years. It'll take more studies, even though we have some good level one evidence-based studies, for example, on knee osteoarthritis. It's going to take a long time for the insurance companies to recognize that cost shifting a $58,000 knee replacement cost to a $2,000 type of cost for a knee treatment is going to make a big difference for them.